The mushrooming continues. Um, <laughs> yeah, I feel a little bit rough from <laughs> eating too many puffball ones the other day, and oh god, I actually felt a little bit sick trying to finish the can. Like I said with the puffballs, you can't do too many, um, but uh, that's been peeled. Some of you may recognise this is a slippery jack, slippery jack, slippery jack. Little slippery jacks on the top with their green slippery rubbish tend to stick into the gills of the other ones and tear them straight out. <laughs> and uh, although this one looks, you know, she's a few days old and pretty roughly treated, uh, it's really just one of these red pine mushroom. Now there's the deliciosus and the detrimentous one. And the difference is those pits, those little dimples you can see on the stem. So this makes it the deliciosus one. It's a saffron milk cap. And if it doesn't have those dimples and it tastes acidic, it's the detremious one or whatever it is, which is the false saffron milk cap. But basically this is a red pine mushroom, uh, which is orange as hell. As you can see, she was showing me in a dark room, you couldn't see the orange, and by hell, you can see the orange. And uh, yeah, it just these smaller ones have, have lasted a little bit better than some of the bigger ones that must be getting near the end of their lifespan with the way they're curving up there. Um, yeah. Anyway, the slippery jacks, you see all this brown shit in there. It's looking darker than it actually is in real life. That's on the top of the slippery jacks. That can cause. That's what makes them slippery. They're slimy. It's like dealing with a snail. That can give you indigestion. So it's an idea to get rid of that. And I have... I don't have that many slippery jacks. I think there's more pine mushrooms. Uh, I've still got... Yeah, there's a few more red pine mushrooms in there. And lo and behold, one, two, three, four, five that just come out of my paddock about 20 minutes ago. And... Uh, I sniffed the top of this one here and oh wow, it was beautiful. Exactly like sticking your nose in a pack from the supermarket. It just smells so perfectly mushroomy. And I haven't had one bit of yellowing, although that looks a little bit there where my thumb is, but you can't even see it off camera. So, so yeah. That's actually a very good sign. If it smells exactly like real mushrooms, it means it's a, probably a real mushroom. Not guaranteed, but if it smells a little bit like weed killer, <laughs> then it's, there's a chance it's poisonous. Uh, but all these ones are, are sort of well known. Um, and that's not blue. That is indeed green. Uh, and that's what they do when they're bruised. But this one, this is the oldest of the bunch and it's really been banging around in the box for a few too many days and, and you know it's getting the end of its lifespan because it's curving right upwards versus ones that are flatter and younger like those two i cannot eat any more of these so i'm going to slice them up and put them in somebody's freezer because i just about done my dash eating mushrooms every single day last week it just it was too much really and uh those puffball ones Trying to eat the last a half a tin of those along mixed in with some of these ones that I got that you've never even seen on camera. Um, oh, yeah, you did. They were the smaller ones with a more salmon colour to them. I threw those in with all the puffball ones and ate them in one hit with two eggs. And, oh, God, it was just too much. And I ended up feeling sick from it. So, so yeah, and it didn't help that I ended up eating chocolate in the middle of the night as well. So... <laughs> Uh, anyway, that's, uh, that's enough for mushrooms for me, so these will go in the freezer and then I'll uh, deal with them at a later point.